hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be making mixed beans seasoned with smoked turkey necks yellow squash and onions a roast cooked in the crock pot with white rice all right let's get started Now this here, I had it in the freezer, and I always get my roast from Sam's, and it's Angus beef, and this right here comes in a two pack. So I took one of them out, and I put the other one back in the freezer. So look at all that. That Look at that. That's gonna be a really good and moist and juicy roast right there. I'm not gonna take any other fat off because it's gonna add flavor. And most of the time, us here, we don't never eat all that fat. We just let it cook in there with it and i think uh, a double pack of roast from sam's is probably about a high 20 something or 30 something bucks okay so what i'm gonna do is go ahead and get this one washed up real good i might cut that little dark ugly piece of fat off right there i'm gonna go ahead and get it washed up and i'll be back when i get ready to put it in the frying pan because i'm gonna brown this i'm gonna sear it on both sides before i put it in the crock pot all right now that i got it clean i'm going to dry it off as much as possible with my paper towel because i don't want any water in the pan when i'm frying it when i'm browning it okay so that's just a paper towel and it is raw meat so you're going to see blood on this paper towel okay so let me go ahead and get the pan ready Okay, so this is my butter. I always like to use Land Lakes. It's not something that I use strictly. I use the um, Irish butter too. But today I'm using the Land Lakes salted butter. I'm gonna take a whole stick and just put it in that pan. I'm gonna let that come. I'm gonna let that melt and get good and bubbly. And then I'm gonna put the roast in the pan with it. I'm gonna brown both sides and then I'm gonna put it in the crock pot. And make sure that the surface of this frying pan is good and coated with this butter. And we're gonna let it go for just a little bit more because we want it to be kind of, um, let's see. We want it to, for, for the moisture to have come out before we put the roast in there, okay? Because we want this to seal, okay? We want kind of like a, like a crust on it. Okay, y'all. All right, we good. We're gonna take this right here roast and go ahead and put it in there. I'm trying to dry it off a little bit more. There we go. And we're just gonna let that fry, okay? Once it comes to a good fry, then we'll flip it, get it brown on that side, and then we'll put it in the crock pot and add all the seasonings. We're gonna give this our first turn. And it is popping, so be careful. There you go. And that's all we're trying to do. We're just trying to get it brown on both sides, okay? So that's kind of sealing the juices. All right, so after that gets done, it's prob probably about five minutes that it's been cooking. So after that, another five minutes, we're going to go ahead and put it in the crock pot. All right, y'all, we ready to put it in the crock pot. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. I'm gonna move it over a little bit so you can see. Be careful, because this thing right here heavy. Look at that. See, it's brown on that side too, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my crock pot. There we go, and that's all we're gonna need, y'all. That's, that's how brown we want it, okay? And we don't add any seasonings or spices when we are browning it because we're gonna put all that in there once we get it over there. Okay, now first, you know, can't go wrong with this right here. Lipton onion soup mix. I always use this, and you can use any of the varieties that they have. They have a beefy mushroom, a golden mushroom, a golden onion, and you just pour one whole pack on your roast, just like that, okay? Slap your mama, okay? We gonna put it in here too. Okay, that's gonna make it really good, okay? 
because it's gonna be seasoned all the way through. Next, we're gonna add some celery salt. Just on the top. Okay, and then we're gonna put some minced onion. Okay, that'll keep us from crying. We don't have to worry about chopping up an onion today. Okay, and then, you know, I said I wasn't gonna put any water on it, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of water on it, but it's not gonna be a whole lot. Okay, this is one cup of water. We're gonna add it to the side because we want the spices to stay on top of that roast. And I already had this pan on, that's why I sizzling. See that, see the bubbles? Wait a minute, let me let you see. See it bubbling back there? Right there. Okay, I already had this pan heating up, so it's good, we're good to go. So we're gonna put the top on it and we're gonna just let it sit there and we're gonna forget it because I got six hours and 24 minutes on the um, on the dial. That's how long it's gonna cook. I have it on high, and after that, it's gonna be done. Okay, so it's 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. About 5 30, we're gonna be good. Okay, all right, and then we'll come down here and check it and see if we need to do anything else to it, which we shouldn't. Okay, it's seasoned really good with all the spices that I had over, have over here. All right, and we're just gonna let it cook. Put it on and forget it with these crock pots. They are wonderful. Now, I bought this one from uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. I think I paid $99 for it. And of course I use their 20% off coupon that they send you every month from Bed Bath & Beyond. And um, I like it because it has a timer. So once, once this time is up, it'll go to warm. Okay, so it'll just be warm. But if you're at home, you can just go ahead and turn it off. But you can set it for how, however long you wanna set it for. I don't know how high or how many hours you can put on it. But this is for six hours. I said had it set for seven hours because I wanted to be real good and warm because I would know I was gonna have to brown it, brown the roast, and get all my seasonings in. So I started this seven hours. So I have 23 minutes left for that. Cause I was, you know, doing some other things in the kitchen. But anyway, we're gonna come back when it's done for that one right there. Now we're gonna go ahead and put on the beans. Okay, y'all. Got my coffee to get out the way. Okay, this is pinto beans and great northern beans. These are my two favorite beans. Well, you know what? I, I just I have three favorite beans. Black eyed peas, great northern beans, the small ones, and pinto beans are my favorite beans, okay? I love them. My girls love them. Monty doesn't eat them too good, any beans at all, because they ate too much. Too many pinto beans growing up. <laughs> but anyway... Uh, so he probably won't eat these, but me and the girls will tear them up until they're gone. Okay, beans and cornbread, <laughs> you can't even beat that. So what I'm gonna do is mix half and half. And I'm gonna go ahead and get these um, cleaned and washed. And I'm not gonna soak them. Now, if you want to, you can soak these overnight. Go ahead and pick them, soak them overnight, and then they'll cook a little bit faster. But when you cook them in the crock pot, you don't have to worry about that. Okay, because it, it's, it's like a slow cooker gonna cook it for you so what I'm gonna do is clean them and wash them and I'll put them in the crock pot and show you what I'm gonna be doing but before then let me show you what I'm gonna be using to season them look at that how many of y'all eat the smoked turkey necks so this is what's gonna go in my beans this is how much um, beans we have left and this is just the equivalent of when you buy mixed mixed beans out the store I've never bought them because whenever I want two beans mixed together or whatever. I just buy them and mix them together at home. So this is the smoked turkey necks and this is the great northern beans and the pinto beans mixed together. I've washed them off. I'm getting ready to put them in the pot. And what I'm gonna do first is put me a big heaping teaspoon of my chicken bouillon in here. That two. Okay, then I'm gonna put, this is eight cups of water. Go ahead and get that in there. And we are going to swish it around to make sure that I don't have any bubbles or pot, uh, little air pockets full of the bouillon. So that looks pretty good right there. Okay, now, we're going to put some minced onion here. Minced onion. And you know what? These are just how, this is how I do it, okay? You don't have to do it exactly this way. You can put a real onion in here if you want to, cut it up, but this is gonna save you from crying. And you're gonna have the same taste. 
Okay, so we're going to put these turkey necks in there. Yeah, at the bottom. Then we're going to just pour the beans on top. Okay, so now we are going to have enough water. But what you're going to do is you're going to come down here and you're going to probably need to add some more water because you know these beans are going to swell up and they're gonna absorb the water and all that good flavor, okay? So you wanna make sure that you have enough water in here the whole time they're cooking, all right? And I do have it on high, and this is just a regular crock pot. It's not the, uh, it's not a timed one, just regular. And I bought these um, last fall from Walmart. They had them on sale for 39 bucks, and that is just really good. It has, let's see. It has warm, <laughs> oh, it has warm, keep warm, low and high. Okay, we have these on high. Okay, we're just gonna put the top on it. And we're gonna let this sit to the side. Now, I know I'm a little cluttered over here, but that's okay because um, I'm gonna be cooking over there on the other counter, so I need some cooking space, all right? So I'm gonna let these cook probably for about six hours. Uh, total maybe eight, but I'm gonna come down here throughout that time and check to make sure to see if I need any water And if I need to add some I will okay, so we're gonna put that on and forget it All right, I'm just gonna check on these beans And this is how they're cooking We don't need to add any water right now So we're just gonna let it go keep on cooking like it is we're gonna turn these turkey necks over There we go. Everything smells good. All right, now I'm gonna show you the roast. All right, my light turned on automatically over here. I'm not gonna take the top off because I don't wanna lose any of the heat. Look at that. We go, we, it's, it's, it's looking good, it's cooking good. All right, and it has two hours and 25 minutes left. So we're gonna let that keep on cooking. All right, we're gonna come over here and check on these beans. I've already checked on them one time off camera. Okay, I'm gonna stir them a little bit. They're doing pretty good. I've been trying to make sure that this big turkey neck is good. Okay, so at this point, we're gonna add some water. That's about two cups. Okay, we're gonna stick with that for right now. I went up to up the street the other day and I got some squash and from Cindy's produce and y'all I've been had these in the refrigerator but the ends some of the ends are getting ready to go bad so what I'm gonna do is just cut that off we don't want to cut the whole thing we don't have to throw the whole thing away there we go I'll throw that in the trash all right so let's see how many of them have the little ends bad okay like another one Okay, so you see that's good. And let's try this one. Okay, so that's good. So it was two of them that had a little ugliness on them. So we're just gonna throw those in the trash. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing is cooking this yellow squash. We are going to just, you know, saute it with some butter and some onions and salt and pepper. Not a whole lot because the more, and I've told you before, when I'm making my summer vegetables, I like to keep it simple because you don't have to add a whole lot of anything to garden fresh vegetables because they are already good and sweet they're in season and this is the best that you're going to get okay so we're going to go ahead and slice these up then we're going to get them washed and then we're going to go ahead and throw them in the pan now i know last year i cooked my zucchini and i put some cheese in it but we're not going to do that with this right here even though you can if you want to but the only thing we're gonna be putting in this right here today is butter, salt, and pepper, and onions. And that's gonna be really, really good. Okay, so what we're gonna do, you can cut these up. It doesn't matter how thick you cut them up. You're gonna be using your own preference, okay? We don't want them really, really, really thick like that. <laughs> um, that's if you were gonna put them in a, on a skewer or a grill. But you just cut them however you like them, okay? And try to make sure that you're kind of cutting them all the same size because you want them to get done 
together. You don't want to have some thick pieces that are not done and then your thin pieces that are really kind of uh, not done yet. I don't know how that happened, but I'm still gonna use it. This is how much squash we have, and I'm gonna go ahead and wash everything off. Okay, so we have got the squash chopped up and washed, or sliced and washed. We've got the onion sliced. We've got the butter, salt, and pepper right here. And we're gonna go ahead and turn this eye on and put a whole stick of butter in here and let it melt. And once we get that melted, then we're gonna start adding the onions and the squash at the same time. We want them to cook at the same time. All right, y'all, we are good. We're gonna go ahead and start adding. Yep. Okay, so what we're gonna do is put the top on here and let it come to a boil, and then we'll add the salt and pepper. There we go. All right, y'all, I got my cornbread made up. We're gonna go ahead and pour it in there. recipe will be in a link in the description now remember what I said last week when I made this cornbread always get it with your oven mitts because it's gonna be hot 
Okay, now we, we're gonna take the top off of this squash and onions. And we're not gonna put the top back on it at this point because the one thing we don't want is it to get too mushy, okay? So we're gonna turn it down a little bit to about seven. We're gonna make sure that everything is cooking good. Get everything mixed in together. And I like to cut my onions in rings because the squash is in rings. Now the squash should already be sweet, so we're not gonna add any sugar to this. I'm not anyway, you can do what you wanna do. Okay, so let's go ahead and add the salt and pepper. take my top off because I got a little bit of condensation going on. Condensation with this salt shaker. Okay. We're going to let that just cook down on seven. That's like a medium heat. And we'll come back and stir it in just a little bit. We're going to get everything mixed in together because we want enough salt everywhere and pepper. And we're just gonna go ahead and let that cook down just like that. All right, at this point, we're gonna go ahead and take out just a little, see what it tastes like. See if we need to add anything. Or any more salt and pepper. Now we're gonna let that cool. And we're gonna cook it all the way until most of that water is boiled off and the, there's just butter in the bottom of the pan. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna come over here and give this a taste, see if it needs some more salt and pepper. Y'all want to taste the squash? I hate squash. You hate squash? I got a puppet neck in my mouth today. Yeah. Mm, that's good. But I'm putting a, a little bit more. What's on my arm? <laughs> I'm putting a little bit more salt and pepper. That's good. You like squash, Layla? Mm-hmm. This process is good in here. Oh, does it? Yeah. How do they make theirs? I don't know. You don't know? Mm -mm. Okay, so this is, that's the last little bit. It's sweet naturally. And um, let it cook all the way, Layla. And then when it get finished cooking, I'll let you come and taste it in, okay? Does it look like this when you eat squash at school? Mm -mm. How does it look? Um, I don't know. I don't remember. Okay, so. Said it. Well, you were, how do you know you like it? I had it one time. You had it one time at school? Okay. All right, so we're gonna let this go ahead and fin finish cooking down, and then we'll let Jalayla taste it, because Lauren says she doesn't like it. The rest of the food is good. Right, so let's see what we're looking like. Oh, yeah, you know what, we're ready. Let's boil down. You see that's the pan? That's how you want it, okay? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and turn it off and let it cool down a little bit, and then we're gonna taste it again. Try now. You are so much taller than Lauren. It's just ridiculous how much you've grown this summer. Uh, I'm sorry, you're, you're taller than Layla. I got, I, excuse me. Okay, so the girls are going to taste the squash, even though Lauren swears she don't like it, cause she tasted it at school, she don't like it. She don't have to like it, but I want her to taste it anyway. Okay, y'all go ahead. Uh, let's pray first. Let me get my soda out of the way. Let's pray. God is great. God is good. Let us thank him for our food. By our hands we shall be fed. Give us our daily bread. Amen. Amen. Okay, so y'all just get a little bit and just let and blow it before you taste it because it's um it's hot. This one got cheese in it. No, it don't have cheese. That was a uh, um zucchini that I made that? last year. Cheese in it. You can put cheese in that too, but I'm not putting any cheese in it this time. 
But if you get your little bowl, you can put you some cheese on top of it and melt it. You might like it a little bit better if you don't like it like that. Blow that it. That seems nasty. Blow it. Huh? The cheese with the squash seems nasty. The squash. It like wasn't. It. it wasn't nasty. <gasps> Blow it. Now, it might be a little, make a funny noise on your teeth when you, no. when you eat the, <laughs> the skin of it, but you don't peel squash. You don't have to like it. You can be honest, as you always are. She don't like it. You, you don't like it? She don't like, she don't like it. it? You don't have to like it, sweetie. <laughs> you think you'll like it better with cheese on it? Try this no, one. you won't like it at all, period. I like it. But? I wouldn't eat it. You won't eat it? But I wouldn't like eat it every day. Okay, so you won't, you're you not going to eat any for dinner tonight? A little bit. Okay. What's up, Layla? Do you like it? It's good? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't see how you like it, Frank. I don't see it. <laughs> you don't like everything. You just want to say you don't like it because you've had it before and you didn't like it. But you have to taste it just to see if you like it, especially That's if I cook thing. it. Yeah. All right. Thank you, guys. Nope. All right. My roast is done. So what I'm going to do right now is take some of these beans out and let them cool. Look at that. Now, you know when you cook beans in the crock pot, you're not gonna get the same consistency, but if you let them cook long enough, they will thicken naturally, okay? So what I'm gonna do is take some out and just taste them to see if they're done. And they do look like it. All right, we're gonna let them cool right there. Dinner is ready, y'all. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is show you everything I cooked today. This right here, you see that? Oh, I, I unplugged it. That's why it's not saying warm anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. So after it finished cooking for this set amount of hours that I had it cooking for, it turned off automatically. Well, it turned on warm. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just look at it. And this is just a regular roast. It's not a Mississippi pot roast, but look how tender that thing is. You can just tell. I'm gonna go down in there. And this is the pan gravy. We're not gonna thicken it. We're just gonna put it on top of the rice as it is, okay? Okay, look at that. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's what the roast looks like. We have our squash and onions, yellow squash and onions, okay? It smells really good. I'm gonna go ahead and take the top off of the things because Munch is gonna come down here and fix him a plate to go to work in. Okay, we have a pot of white rice and this is instant rice, okay? We don't wanna play around with it. All right, and this is our pan of cornbread. We got all that ready. And this is our beans. I tasted them, they are delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. I had it still on, but I'm gonna turn it off because y'all, them things is good, let me tell you. That doggone smoked turkey neck. That's what you want right there every time. Okay, y'all. Now, this right here wasn't even on the menu originally. But, uh, yeah, we wanted some of that, too. So, that's our fried pork chop. So, this is everything that I cooked today. We have the fried pork chop. We have the beef roast. Rice. Squash with onions. Cornbread and mixed beans. That's what I'm talking about right there. Okay, that's it, y'all. Okay, guys, this is it. This concludes this video. I hope you guys are enjoying my dinners that I'm making. I'm trying to get back into it, y'all. Um, I think I'm doing a pretty good job. Okay, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you want to be notified each time I upload a new video, please hit the notification bell below. Thanks and God bless.